So here in chapter two, we're gonna pick up this cycle of ends driven strategic planning work at the moment where the manager has been given an ends policy by the board and now has to work to bring that policy into the world of operations. Uh, in this chapter, we'll cover some concepts uh, that include translating the policy, taking it from the language of board uh, work into the language of operational work, uh, to think about how the manager can go about interpreting the policy, writing important operational definitions, and making that policy come alive for everyone who it will touch. This idea of translating is an important one in this work. Uh, again, remember that boards communicate to managers in particular ways and those ways may not be the same way that a manager would communicate to uh, everyone else in the organization. Um, so we think about taking something from uh, language of policy into language of real world, for lack of a better term, um, and making sure that as you are doing this translation, uh, you're in including managers and other staff in this work. Uh, the more folks that are involved in thinking about what the policy means and how it might really apply in that world of operations, uh, the better off the, the translation will become. Although an INS report is written with first the interpretation of the policy, uh, that's not the best place to start in writing your INS report. Uh, so we're going to come back to this idea of interpretation in a little bit, um, but we want to first begin with this concept of have that conversation with managers and other staff and agree on the kind of operational definitions that you're going to use in reporting on this policy. That conversation will help immensely in thinking about the interpretation that you will report back to the board. Operational definitions are critical in this kind of work. Um, INS reports that are just full of long narrative stories um, aren't necessarily useful and an operational definition as the core of an INS report uh, becomes incredibly useful to both board and manager and staff. And you will see how that works uh, throughout this uh, presentation. One thing to think about in reporting is that your operational definitions, the metrics that you will use to measure accomplishment, um, may not be uh, exact. They may not be perfect. Um, oftentimes, the best we will come up with is something that is an indicator of progress. Uh, and given that we are not uh, science research institutions, um, but we are grocery stores running a business, um, sometimes those indicators are uh, the best we can do given the resources that we have. For each of your ends policies, uh, the, the best way to go about thinking about the, the reporting uh, and the movement is to think about what are a few high level indicators, a few things that make sense, a few things that could be measured, uh, a few things that uh, you believe would show movement towards the goals indicated in the ENDS policy. If you spend some time coming up with some operational definitions, then come back around to the idea of interpretation. How could you write an interpretation? How could you explain the policy in a way that ties together the language of the policy with the language of the operational definitions. Some managers have tried uh, interpreting ENDS policy or other policies using what looks like a dictionary definition, trying to parse out the meaning of each word. Um, that turns out not to be as useful uh, as an interpretation that's a, a more broad context, something along the lines of, here's how I see the policy, here's how it makes sense to me, Here's how I intend to bring it to life uh, in the world of the co-op. Remember that this, this language that you use in your interpretation, although it, it is specifically addressing the board and reporting on the policy, it's language that can permeate all conversations throughout the co-op uh, and all the work that you do. One example of this comes from Dan Gelati at Wheatsville Co-op in Austin, Texas. So after looking at the board's ends policies, uh, analyzing it with other managers, uh, Dan reported back to the board that his interpretation of the policy uh, is that there will be uh, in, in their community more co-op economy, more local organic and sustainable food, and more happy people. Uh, it was a very fun, broad brush way of thinking about the policy 
And then Dan goes on in his INS report to explain how he will be measuring each of those uh, outcomes. It's important in this work to make sure that you bring it to life and then nurture it to keep it alive. Uh, there are some, some key elements of this that can be very uh, important to pay attention to. One is to imagine that from the manager's seat there is an upstream conversation and a downstream conversation. Upstream back towards the board, uh, making sure that uh, the language of your interpretation and your definitions makes sense to everyone on the board. Remember that some directors would not have been part of writing that original ENDS policy and so you're speaking not just to the board as a, as a generic group but to real people sitting around the table there. In the downstream direction, remember that you want to make sure that all your managers, all your employees understand how the ENDS are driving uh, decisions that happen on a day-to-day -day basis, that these are the values at the, at the foundation, the core of what we are doing, why we are doing it. It becomes very helpful to talk about the meaning of ENDS policies. Uh, just repeating the language of the policy uh, sometimes can be helpful, but more uh, to engage in conversation about why these ENDS are important, why these outcomes matter to us in our community, what will be different uh, in that long term. And the third thing that matters a lot from the manager's perspective is that managers tend to measure what's important and to manage for what you measure. So if you're creating good strong indicators, good strong operational definitions for your ENDS policy, then those become the key elements of what you will manage for. How do we improve in the areas that we're measuring? ENDS are not just something that the board writes down on a piece of paper and then it just lives in a drawer somewhere. Uh, a key part of the, this concept is that ENDS really are for everybody. ENDS are uh, a way of understanding who we are as a co-op, why we exist, what we're trying to accomplish in the world. And the manager has a, a big responsibility to make sure that that conversation permeates the cooperative and out into the community to the extent possible. So the idea of building a vision narrative can be very useful. How do you tell a story? How do you explain what this all might look like somewhere in that future? Where is it we're headed together? Can you explain that in a compelling way that makes sense to the, to the people in the conversation? Can you explain it in a lot of different ways because people listen with a lot of different kinds of, of ears uh, you might include this narrative in ENDS reports, you might include it in uh, annual reports, you might include it in newsletter articles, you might include it in conversation that you're having at annual meetings or just there in the aisles of the store. Always trying to explain where the co-op is headed in clear, simple language that makes sense to the audience. In the next chapter, uh, we're going to look a bit about uh, how the ENDS policy, the interpretation of that policy, the creation of the operational definitions, then leads to the next stages of strategic planning, all that great work that goes into how do we make sure that we're getting where we say we want to go. So stay tuned for that. It's bound to be interesting.